Hi everyone, I'm Ken from Crypto Trading KS. If you're new, welcome and welcome back KS family. Let's run the numbers. Bitcoin is currently up 1.25% to 19650. Ethereum is up 3.18% to 1076. Looking at DeFi, we can see DeFi has come down quite substantially and we're actually trading a total value locked of 73.18 billion. That's down 1.18% from yesterday. When confidence gets restored into the crypto market, I feel that the DeFi sector will absolutely explode. We can see Aave doing very well in the last trading session. From my 30 plus years in financial markets, I explain the smart money mindset to assist you to be more of a financial blessing to yourself and those you love, gaining real wealth in the process. If you would like daily updates on price movements in the crypto market, seven days a week, 365 days a year, please subscribe to YouTube. Please consider sharing and liking this video and also subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you as a part of our globally extended KS family. Thank you very much for tuning in. I very much appreciate us sharing this time together. I've left helpful links in the description of this video, such as the Crypto Trading KS Masterclass, the tax software I use, and you can always reach out and directly message me on Twitter at any time. As crypto technical analysts, we scientifically track investor attention and that's measured by price, which is reality, not future promises. The first thing we do is to mark up our charts with the CTKS method. This recognizes exponential trends inside the market. Next thing we do is to look to outside trends, collecting probability, checking the stock markets, checking world events. Very, very important. We'll look at that in a minute. And then we move on to timing, finding the market's focus, which is rule 32, understanding rule 28, opportunities reset daily, and enhancing pattern recognition. That's rule 109. Before we actually buy or sell, before we pull the trigger, we must make sure that we have a professional, non-emotional attitude. Unfortunately, self-doubt and self-sabotage can cause us to buy when we should sell and sell when we should buy. We need to short circuit those emotions. A lot of people are subconsciously programmed to reject money and this creates enormous problems when it comes to actually making money. That's why as a community we focus on positive excellence and maintaining real wealth foundations. Then when we get into trigger there are so many ways to buy and sell. We know that Bitcoin cannot escape the stock market's gravity. So what did we see in the last trading session? And Masterclass students, you'll get my live chart in TM6. What we saw is an absolute spike in fear, but there was a resistance line coming in for the VIX. And that spike in fear was very short lived. And now we're under resistance. This is actually quite good. The VIX is incredibly spiky. So what does this actually mean? We had a massive run up in fear and then a drop in fear. What did that do to price? Well, it dropped price and then it increased it. So we can see on the NASDAQ futures, they're at 11,732. And what does this basically mean? It means that the NASDAQ actually rejected this particular support line, rejected it as resistance and jumped up back to another resistance line when it was below, seeking to get above that. So what we're actually looking at is the NASDAQ moving in a wave, going up and coming down, going up and coming down. What do we actually expect to happen here? From the VIX, there is the potential to get more negative downside fear movement. That would actually drive prices up. There's an inverse relationship between fear and confidence. And many people say, Ken, what are you looking at the stock market for? We're just in crypto. We don't care about the stock market. The stock market has decorrelated from Bitcoin and crypto. Ah, uh -uh, not true. Maybe it's easier to see here. What we can see, this white line is the NASDAQ. 
And what is the NASDAQ doing? It's showing the directional correlation between the NASDAQ or the main markets and Bitcoin. This is Bitcoin's price action. We can see how the NASDAQ, NASDAQ dropped down. And what happened to Bitcoin? It plummeted. And then the NASDAQ shot up. What happened to Bitcoin? It rallied. So we need to pay attention. If we don't pay attention, we're not collecting all the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle. We're being bad detectives. Bad detective. What else do we notice? So bond prices are coming up. They're being supported. What does that mean with bond yields? They're coming down. What about poor old gold? Gold has been smashed recently. Just a technical term. It's got a hangover. It's just recovering down here. And what is causing this thumping of gold well the dollar is certainly not helping we've seen the dollar just rallying up as gold has been rallying down so what do we expect the us dollar currency index the dxy has been overextended for quite a period of time you might notice something really interesting about this chart please let me know in the comments if you can spot it you're really good and we can also see oil under pressure. <laughs> oil under pressure. I'm very punny. So what we actually would expect to see, because price is always moving in a wave and we've got a higher resistance line here, we've got negative here, air here, which means the sellers are stepping in and pushing the price of oil down. We would expect to see a wave movement. Remember, price is always moving in a wave. It doesn't just go straight down and it doesn't go straight up. It's always moving in a wave. And what do we notice about the level of fear inside the market through the put call ratio? That's just increasing slightly. And what do we notice about junk bonds? This is like a risk on. When junk bonds increase, that's a really good sign that the major indexes are going to increase. And your beloved stocks are going to increase. And of course, Bitcoin is going to increase. And what does that mean to your gorgeous alt that you hold there, loving and cuddling it? It's going to go up. So we want the junk bonds to go up. We can see that the Crypto Fear and Greed Index is currently 15. We may be getting something like this. We've often seen that when fear is very, very high, we tend to get a spike like this and a shoot down. We may be getting this at the moment. Always have your three-dimensional decision-making right up front and center. What does that actually mean? Make sure that you know what you're going to do. If price goes against you, goes nowhere, or goes for you. Most people just say, oh, price is going to go in my direction. Everything will be fine. And then suddenly it goes against them and they panic. But with Borsog ANF or three dimensional decision making, you can't do that because you think, first of all, what if this price goes against me? And you're not thinking just about your particular crypto. You're thinking about your entire portfolio. Remember, you control the trade, but the market controls the return. No one person is big enough to actually move the crypto market. Michael Saylor tried, but he couldn't steer that ship. Let's have a look at the longs and the shorts. The shorts are in this red line. We can see the shorts recently spiked up and then they came out of the market. They've spiked up again and they've come out of the market. What did the longs do? The longs also spiked up and then came out of the market. Active learning is really critical to your knowledge in the markets. Crypto moves so quickly. If you're relying on other people, you're in a lot of trouble. You need to develop the skills yourself. If somebody gives you a tip, for example, and it's a really good tip on a specific crypto, but that was half an, an hour ago, it may already be done and dusted as an opportunity. You just have to be so fast in crypto. This is why you should never accept any tips, advice, marketing, anything like that. You must do your own research and the markets will reward your skill. They'll reward your persistence, your commitment and dedication. So getting back to the longs and the shorts, what's going on there? Over the past 24 hours, there's been 225.1 million in liquidations across 70,582 positions. That's starting to get up there. And when we notice total liquidations across the past 24 hours, about 52.29% has been short liquidations. 
What about the past 12 hours? We've gone 52% long. We've gone the other way. What about the past four hours? Whoa, we've gone the other way again. 62% short. What about the past hour? Oh, nearly 61% short. The longs and the shorts are always whacking each other. They're always <laughs> liquidating each other. The longs come in and heat the market up. The shorts say, hey, chill out, man. You've got to go down. And what do we see right now? When looking at dailies, poor old shorts have been whacked by the longs. But yesterday, it was the other way around. This is always the case in leverage trading. If you're a professional and you want to leverage trade, hey, go for it. You're consistently profitable. You have the knowledge. You have the skills. That's good. But if you're just learning, please do not leverage. Just borsog and use coffee money. Why? You want to get rich. You want to retire tomorrow. It doesn't happen and it never happens in life. The way to get rich is to do it slowly. Understand the synchronization of the market. Get into that market. Identify really good projects that you can hang with. Yeah, it's good to hang with your project. Let's have a look at Max Payne. And Max Payne is a really good way to look at the crypto market. Again, it's just a piece of the probability jigsaw puzzle. And we can see Bitcoin currently trading at 19765. What is the significance of nine, uh, 19668? 19,668. Please let me know in the comments if you know the significance of that number. Again, our community is really into active learning. And of course, a lot of sharing goes on inside the community. In the crypto market, price drives Max Payne. Well done to everybody that reached out in the comments. And there were so many legendary comments yesterday. Those people, you know what I mean. Congratulations. You are legends. Let's have a look at Max Payne. Where is it heading to? We can see 19,500. Why is this 19,500 significant? Because this is a daily support level. And that's pretty important to understand. When we look at Bitcoin on a daily level, it's coming into support at 19,500. What do the derivatives traders expect that will happen the next day? They expect that price will come in, whack support and rebound to this resistance at 19,500. Seems a pretty plausible scenario. But remember your ANF. Remember what will happen if price goes against you, goes nowhere or goes for you. Consider going for you the last option, not the first. And also remember, price drives Max Payne. If price moves down, for example, to two or three, it will drag the Max Payne level down. So just keep that one in mind. Where do you think price is going to? Do you think it's going to a number or a letter? In the next trading session, in the next video, please let me know in the comments. It's really good to do this active learning. It will make the difference. What could actually play out inside the market? Always remember that price is always moving in a wave. It's coming down and then going up, coming down, going up, coming down, going up, coming down, going up, coming down, going up. You get the idea. Rule four, price moves in waves. It's really important to understand this. And what are we actually looking at? This is Bitcoin, percent supply and profit. And what do we notice? The last capitulation, we had price or the percent supply and profit come down as well as price. And then what did we see? We entered this green area. We saw it in the C19 US liquidity crisis, and we've seen it in past bear markets. So what does this mean? We're not currently in this green area. Could we expect a wave down in price? Always prepare yourself for the wave down in price. It's really important. Remember, ANF goes against you, goes nowhere or goes forward. Always think in those dimensions. And if you're borsogging in and out of trades, you don't have any problem. It's actually a trader's market at the moment. And always remember, all investors become traders anytime they buy or sell. Being an investor with diamond hands is fantastic, but traders have a diamond mind and a diamond heart because they need it to deal with the volatility. If you actually combine the strengths of an investor and a trader, you're absolutely on the path to financial success.
we know as traders there's always opportunity in the market and opportunities reset daily when we look through the top 100 to the greatest gainers in the past 24 hours cvx up 18.35 percent curve up 14.7 percent arweave up a little over 11 Ave a bit over 10 and a half percent serum srm over eight percent up Decorate 6.86% up and Quant 5.63% up. Going the other way, we see USTC down 10.8%, AMP down 3.96%, ICP down 3.32%, Phantom down around 2.5%, Carver 2.4% down, Gala 2.4% down, and LRC about 2.4% down as well. I'd like to thank everybody for the kind comments that you did yesterday in yesterday's video. It's so fantastic to have such an active global community. Everybody there supporting each other, helping each other out. I show you this particular heat map because this was the market yesterday. And this is the market right now. You can see absolutely that opportunities reset daily and we can just ride these waves of price. In times like this, Borsog is your path. If you're new, you're probably saying, Ken, what the heck is Borsog? Sounds like some, I don't know, dish. Borsog is buy on red, sell on green. It's rule 621. Badger said in the comments, the market is quite red today, but I think it will be green tomorrow. Badger, you're a legend. It definitely was. As a community, we focus on positive excellence and maintaining real wealth foundations such as kindness, integrity, decency, gratitude and happiness, inner and outer peace. Now, why do we do this? Why don't we just be like every other crypto channel out there and focus on money and getting Lamborghinis and retiring, I don't know, next week, next hour, next minute? Why don't we do that? Because you only can make as much money as the strength of your character will permit. Everything about positive excellence is about focusing you on the right things in this world. Having been in the financial markets for more than three decades, and many community members are in a similar situation, what you do is you look at the markets as a reflection of your own internal self. If you're together, your profits will be together. If you're falling apart, for example, if you don't feel inner and outer peace, it will absolutely decimate your portfolio. And it doesn't matter if you're trading or investing, it's exactly the same thing because all investors become traders anytime they buy or sell. That's why we apply rule 570, psychology sets profitability. In fact, your level of real wealth and positive excellence will directly influence your profitability. Everybody will go through good times and bad times. It's said that the rain falls on the just and the unjust alike, but there's a secret in this. Your personality, as Nenad said in the last video, your personality will support as much success as the strength of your personality. I firmly believe in this and I talk with one of my friends about how she could change the way she thought and embrace gratitude and focus on positive things to change their life. She said that it was easy for me, it was easy for Nenad because I'm strong. And Nenad said, I disagree, I wasn't born strong. As she said, it was a choice and anyone can follow positive life excellence and become what they want to become. Life resets daily. You always have the chance to be kind with integrity and decency and follow life's positive excellence. There's a famous quote which goes a little bit like this. Success is getting up one more time than you were hit when you were laid down on the floor. The concept is you need to get up. When you're actually hit and you're knocked out, wake up, get up, get back on your feet and keep on going. It's all about strength and deciding, making that choice that you will not let life beat you. Life doesn't actually work against you. It works in your favor. But it's so hard to see this because many times we're on our merry path and we think this is what we want to do in life. And life pulls out the rug from underneath our feet and says, no, you're not going that way. You're going somewhere else. That somewhere else is where you're supposed to be going. But it always should be 
a path of kindness and decency, happiness, inner and outer peace. If that path, is, uh, that path isn't those things, you are definitely on the wrong path and you'll get over to the right path eventually, but it will take a lot of pain to break those habits. So getting as much strength in your personality, focusing on the right things. Money is the last thing you want to focus on. If you focus on that, it will elude you. If you focus on being a person of value, it will come to you. Let's have a look at the top cryptos. And what we want to see here is the personality of these cryptos. What is a crypto personality? A very kind community member reached out and said, Ken, what is a crypto personality? Well, it's all about the directional bias, how jagged they are in comparison to Bitcoin, how long they do a move for, their duration. Oh, there's so many things. But the concept of a crypto personality is that not everything is Bitcoin. And when you see divergences in personality, it's really, really valuable. And you want to jump on and get some of that, of course, if it's going in the right direction. For example, we can see some personality just coming out to light. Bitcoin has overcome a first level of resistance and it's making an attempt to get over and make that stick. But what about ADA, Cardano? That's got a much weaker attempt. What about Binance coin? It's got a stronger attempt. You can see that it actually broke out here. This is where personality comes in. What about Doge? Doge is still under resistance. Its personality isn't as strong as Bitcoin's at the moment, but we've seen Doge absolutely take off. And what do we notice about XRP? Look at XRP. It's just going for it. And what does that mean? If Bitcoin was doing the same as XRP, it would currently be 20 and a half thousand. This is really important to consider what these personalities, how they reflect back to Bitcoin. And what do we see about Ethereum? Ethereum is getting over resistance as well. Solana is getting over also. And what about poor old Dot? Oh, Dot, come on, Gavin, do something. You need to bring Dot back to life. I really like Dot as a project, but it's been very, very weak, as has Ada of late. Come on, Charles. Thank you to Goulash1000. It was a really cool quote. My wife and son got some entertainment watching me stare at trend lines in anticipation of the big drop today. Just two more minutes. New candle starts initially retraces towards the nest of resistance line. Then blam, drops like a rock. Woohoo, got one. Okay, time to go finish the gardening. This is what we do as a community. We're gladiators, we're fearless. We go in and get on the right side of the percentage. And what we actually seek to always do is to make sure that we're bought before the big move takes off. Don't forget the Borsog is in and out. It's not hodling, especially not in this market. And Art said, Gulash, love your comment. We pay attention to the markets and trading, but then we do our gardening and enjoy life. The two paradigms can exist side by side in synchronization with each other. Really good comment. Thank you also to Oscar. Satisfaction is a delayed feel. Congrats, my friend. I thought it'd be good to talk about in the comments. What does that mean? Satisfaction is a delayed feel. When do you use it and what does it mean? I'd be really, really interested in your comments on that. That's a very, very important rule. And as a bonus, if you know what the rule number is, wow, you're just rocking and rolling. Let's have a look into the metaverse. Oh, that sounds so cool. Decentraland, Mana, just getting over resistance, just starting to turn that to support. Look at Ape, it's aping. It's doing much, much better. Note how it came down to this once resistance line, turned it to support and resumed back off. What about sand? Also looking quite good. What about stacks? Getting there. What about wax P? Oh, wax on, wax off. It's doing okay. It's getting above that resistance level. Notice that's really sharp and you may get a sharp angle reflecting there as well. Look at engine coin. Talk about sharp angles reflecting. Look at that down and then up. This is why we love these sharp angles. We don't run from them. We run into them. We want them. Give us some. Let's have a look at Theta getting over resistance. 
And what about Axie? Just a bit weaker than what we see, for example, in Ape. Which one is the strongest metaverse play in this particular page? Please let me know in the comments. It's really good to keep on doing this active learning. You need to do it because your knowledge will pay you profit. I'd like to give a call out to Oscar and Zero and the legend of Borsog. And Oscar got very inspired. Just have a look at yesterday's video. That is so superb. What skill you have, Oscar. And added to so well by Ivan. Yesterday, I asked about Atom and I basically said, what do you make of this particular drawdown? Now, obviously it's weakness and negative momentum, but what you can see here is the Bitcoin was basically trading in a range, just did a bit of a blip up there. And what did Cosmos, Adam do? It absolutely shot off and then shot up. And then what did Bitcoin do later? As it came down, it dragged and erased all of that gain and then a heck of a lot more because this is what actually happens with your beloved alts. No alt can escape Bitcoin's gravity. And Free Dentist said it really well. Cosmos wasn't big enough yet. So the Emperor Bitcoin had a little chat with Adam. Don't be a rebel and come down to act as your friends. The other alts do. <laughs> I thought that was really good. And thank you everybody for your kind comments and reaching out and just sharing your views on the market with everyone. It's a very, very beautiful global family that we have. Many of our global family members are going through life pullbacks at the moment. Just always keep in your mind that you've just hit a resistance level. You've got that setback, but the sun will come out again. You're getting set up at support for your promotion, your next life rally, and life is always moving in a wave. The sun will come out again. And if you can focus on spreading kindness, empathy and care, contribution and sharing, just developing new ways of thinking and gaining new skills, whatever happens in life, it's designed for your benefit. If you keep this in mind, that's a very, very good way to approach setbacks. And some of these setbacks in life can be very, very large. And I understand that. Keep positive, my friends. It's always good to keep in mind that strength follows setbacks. Having setbacks makes you a stronger and better version of yourself. When you find that people who have very few setbacks in life, they can get a very distorted view of what reality should look like. People who have had a lot of setbacks generally tend to be very happy people because they understand that this world grows them in strength. If you're going through a strengthening experience, a setback, our love and thoughts are with you. The sun will come out again. I hope you found the content useful. Please consider sharing and liking this video and also subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you as a part of our globally extended KS family. Thank you very much to our moderators for keeping our community safe from scammers and to the CTKS ambassadors for assisting masterclass students. And of course, a very big thank you to you for watching and for being part of our global family. If you would like daily updates on price movements in the crypto market, seven days a week, 365 days a year, please subscribe to YouTube. I've left helpful links in the description of this video, such as the tax software I use and links to the Crypto Trading KS Masterclass. Please use those links to reach an ambassador and get 80% off. Please remember, crypto is volatile. Always prepare yourself for the best and worst case scenarios. Reality will likely be between them. Stay safe out there, my friends. Take care and see you next time. <laughs> Bye for now. Oh, you're still here. You get an extra bonus. Please let me know in the comments what cryptos you would like me to include in a new eight chart. So just your beloved cryptos and I'll see what I can do for you. I'll keep in mind your suggestions and so potentially rotate different cryptos around because I'm sure that we'll get more than eight suggestions. Have a great day or night everyone and take care. <laughs>
and see you in the next video. Bye for now.